How y'all doing? I'm out here with the SIG 1911 slash 22. I did a quick review on it. Uh, didn't like the ammo I was shooting out of it. So we got some Thunderbolts here. Let's see if this cycles. And always recycle your uh, cutting boards. After a while, they get a lot of marks in them and they can hide diseases. Get rid of them every once in a while. <laughs> so we're gonna recycle it. I'm kind of nervous though, cause that's kind of a hard piece of plastic. Let's see what happens. I'm at a little bit of an angle. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna pop it off here. It has left and right safety. Operates like a big boy gun. This is a safety. You got another safety. Uh, let's see what we do here. It's got awesome sights. I'm gonna try to slow it down and get some accuracy with it. Let's see what happens here. All right, we're going to take a quick walk up there and then we'll show you how to load this thing. Looks like it was shooting left. Oh, it was shooting extremely high. Oh, well, we can work on the sights. I guess somebody had it set for a little further away. Huh, let's back up a little bit. And we'll talk about loading and why most of your 22 handguns only hold 10 rounds. <clears throat> Now, this thing you can put a suppressor on, and I did notice it's starting to wear there. So whoever had it really didn't shoot it much. Now we're starting to get some wear. Let's, uh, let's put this down here. Magazine release. There you go. Oh, man, I guess I should have got some ammo out. Hang on. Pull down this, makes it easier to load. The reason most of uh, the 22s only hold 10 rounds, unless you're talking about the PMRs, is something that happens with the rimmed cartridges. If you look, if you notice, this has a rim. Come on, focus. Focus. There. Well, baby, hang on. Maybe that was better. Well, anyhow, if they're stacked on top of each other, this rim will get caught and won't come out. It's called rim lock. So that's why most of your handguns or 22s, like your Ruger and this one, have an extreme angle for which way the magazine goes in because you can't have rim lock. See, it'll catch the rim if you don't do it right. There's no way to load this wrong because they, uh, they made it this way for a reason. If you can take a close look there, you'll see, man, I really wish I would just zoom in better. Come on, focus, focus, focus. It won't do it. Why well, won't you focus? <laughs> there it is. See the rim? The one that you're that's going to pick up is in front of the next rim. All right, there we go. We're ready to go again. And now it's out of focus again. <laughs> All right. Focus, focus, there it is. Gotta love technology. All right, I'm gonna try it again. I got a golf ball over there I'm gonna try to hit. I gotta see where this thing hits though because I, I really haven't played with this. I think I need to bury the sight or move the sight. Let's see what happens here. Very, very, very. I'm going to say it's almost impossible for me to hit that golf ball, but I'm going to try it. There it is. You got to know where to shoot. All right. I'll, I'll move the sights maybe. Whoever set this gun up before I bought it, because I bought it used, must have wanted to do some long range shooting, I guess. I don't know. Uh. 
Uh, let's walk up there again. I bet we can go find that golf ball. <laughs> yep. Recycle your cutting boards. <laughs> Very pleased with it. I gotta shoot it more, obviously. It's still tight. Got a great sight picture. Great. I'm not sure if you can see that red one as, as clearly as I can. But always focus on your front sight, see your target, see your back sight. The yellow sometimes messes you up when you're trying to aim. I really like it. I can't wait to put it through its paces. Maybe I'll get a suppressor for it. I doubt it. I'm not that type of guy. All right. God bless. Bye.